Okay, YouTubers, we're getting ready to shoot another YouTube video, but today it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to talk about springtime and fly tying. Talk about that a little bit more on the other side. We don't know about all of you, but for us, springtime this is the time to prepare for fishing. and um, But we don't want to forget our fly tying because, well, things have kind of been left a little bit helter-skelter from a winter of tying. And it's time to put things in order like I was doing here with this rotating thing of dubbing. We like to do this uh, presentation eh, a little different than we have in the past. The last part will be um, a tip for fly tying, something you can work on over the summer in your spare time if you have any. Uh, but th also, the first part, I'm going to turn the camera around and introduce you to our fly tying area and some of the things we do to get materials ready for summer. Let's take a look. Well, let's start with that rotating dubbing holder that, that I was sitting in front of just a second ago there. And here we have a rotating side with all the soft touch dubbing and on this side we've got double magic which is the LaFontaine type dubbing while across the room we've got one called Touchatron and again it's on a rotating stand but let's go back to where we were the rotating dubbing thing and go straight across to the closet you're going to see these boxes with a bunch of labels on them. We'll talk about those a little bit on the back side. All up, up in the same closet, we've got a box of hare's ear. Can't remember what's in there. This is muskrat, beaver, and otter. And this is squirrel, uh, bear, and horse hair. Just moving around all the different things we've got. Elk over here, moose, deer, dyed and regular. We've got saddles, bucktails wool forget what's in there oh yeah that's turkey wings calf and the list goes on there just like everybody else we got a box up there that friends who have been to the house um, understand it's the exotic stuff that we got when we worked at whiting farms coming on around we've just got more dubbing and the whole darn place looks kind of like a fly shop Part of a spring get-together is to take this tying area that Gretchen was working at just a few minutes ago and get it in order so it looks a little bit more organized like mine. Now, that isn't to say that Gretchen's disorganized and that I'm organized. It's just I happened to clean my area up a little bit before I turned on the camera. She didn't have that advantage. But anyway, a little bit of the hackle that we keep in our inventory. And let's talk about that inventory. I want to show you something. Something that's really important. Right up here is mothball, the equivalent of mothballs, but it's, it doesn't have any smell to it. We get these at uh, Lowe's, and eh, that one's still got a little bit left in it. We're going to have to get some more, though. But we put those all around our tying area. You'll find another one back here. And there's one here over here and let's go back over to that closet that we were talking about i shall probably should have mentioned it before but closet's got several of these hanging through it now this one's still in good shape it's got two almost full full of canisters in there but anyway that's our tying area and let's get back to the really important item that we're going to talk about and i'll go back over to my tying desk to talk to you about these boxes I've set this box, it's a grizzly box. It's got six to 12 on it. That means it's one of two boxes that hold all of our size tackle. And as you can see, we've hit it pretty hard, but we still have quite a bit of this, this. We also put in these strips to keep it from scattering all over the place. 
But anyway, that's all sized. And what we do with the bulk of the hackle, while we're watching television in the evening, we'll just set in size hackle using this hackle gauge over here. Happens to be the one we prefer. Let's see, it's, um, can't remember where I got, I think I got that from Hook and Hackle many, many years ago. But anyway, it's a design and we size all of our hackle using that. And it's really handy to have that all done when you're tying. So the tip was really quick to share with you, but we size it in brown, black, ginger, grizzly, uh, light ginger, and then there's an assorted box just for stuff that we need. These are the 6 to 12, to the 14s to 20s and above. Anyway, there it is. Maybe you want to do some organization with your fly tying materials as well.